Okay. Mm -hmm. I just have to start. No, I gotta start my own. Okay. I test it every time I send it out for you. I test that gavel. Make, Make sure it's working. It works. <laughs> Okay. I was doing it. It was going. I have to do this like ringing the bell. Yeah. It's like ringing the bell at Wall Street. Yes. yes. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome to the regular meeting of the Bethel Planning Board. Today is Wednesday, September twenty seventh, two thousand and twenty three. This meeting is scheduled to go from 6 to 8 o'clock tonight. We would need a majority vote of the planning board to go beyond 8 o'clock. With that in mind, we have two items on the agenda to consider this evening. A determination of applicability for 158 Mayville Road and a site plan amendment for 121 Mayville Road. Uh, okay, and also under our other business, we'll be conducting our final annual review of the rules of procedure before it goes to the select board. Um, and before we proceed, to remind everyone all questions come to the chair. So, with that in mind, um, I guess I'd like to declare a quorum. And next on to the meeting, back to the minutes. Has have you all reviewed the minutes from the last meeting? Yep. Would anyone like to make a motion? Make a motion to approve the minutes as read for Second. August 9th. Okay, and Bob seconded. All in favor? Okay, great. It's a long, I don't remember. I know, I know. Then we also had a site walk on uh, July 27th. Uh, so I need a. I make a motion. Uh, to what? You have the wrong agenda? No, no, no. no Do no. I have the wrong agenda? No, oh, these are the minutes. Sorry, yeah, I did. You're, you're right. We already approved that. All right. I'm in the minutes. All right. Is there any communication that we need to add in? Okay. Um, I have one thing, but it's I'm gonna put it on my other business that's very quick and brief. So. Okay. All right. So, um, I think would you like to go go ahead and tell us what you're doing? I mean, I think we all know just briefly. Right. I, mean, I, I think that you know we we gave a, a pretty good description. Of we're mm -hmm. looking to do. We purchased the property a little less than a year ago, as uh, as we described, and you know it, it's just such a good location. And you know, basically, we'd like to enhance it and we'd like to do it by right, so something that wouldn't you know initiate you know special permit or you know etc. So we're just looking to really gather some information to know what we what we can do, uh, yeah. you know, by right. Okay. So. Can I interject here? Um, I'm kind of wondering why this is before us in this format. I was thinking, since they already have a site plan on this property, wouldn't it just be an amended site plan? Um, it would either be, so the board would have to decide if you would like to view it as an amended site plan, or potentially it would be a subdivision because you're going to have more than three dwelling units on the lot if they build two, or if they do condos. Um, that would also push it into that subdivision. Why would it be a subdivision right. if they're not breaking a lot of them? Um, you could have a subdivision if you have more than three dwellings on one piece of property. It, it goes into subdivision. Or if you have more than, I think it's a condo. Uh, John's done the training. Yeah, he may be a little bit more versed. But condos as well push that into subdivision territory. The board does have the option to either review it as site plan or subdivision. Shouldn't we be following the state law for subdivision, though? I mean, does the subdivision state laws say that you've got to go to subdivision if you're going to put... What What is the guideline for the state regarding condos being added to a property that's already there? Do we know? I'm not really sure, John. Are you Have you done anything well, with condos? I mean, yet? no, I... We would need to look into it further, but I mean, if you're building more structures, like say individual townhomes, and each individual owner owns that townhome, would they now own the piece of that property as well, right? Right, but we may not sell them, so. We're so, so you're looking, you're looking to have those as like for your your aunt or your, your brothers. Or right. Yeah, yes. our, our in-laws. I mean, we, I love my in-laws, but I, if they want to stay closer to town. Um, 
I mean, it's, it's, I, I think what we can we can table what, what what you're looking into right now. You're looking at three stru you know individual structures, but they're still in the so family. There's one, exi there's one existing structure there, right? And you're yes. building two more. Yeah, we're right? build, yes, we're building. Yeah, so you're giving what they say is what up is to three structures. Fire alarm. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's vibrating. That's an alarm. Fire alarm That's the alarm. Hmm? That's the alarm no, no, no. Those are for here. Okay. It no, looks like it's the bank. Can we just oh, let's take a couple it's minutes? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> take a couple minutes. I wish we'll your house fire fire were fire fire fire. We're in. Yeah, we're in. So we're enjoying so, the chair. We're loving the chair. Yeah. 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 yeah, they are. They are uh, uh, one card. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, and to show the parking and the road that goes into the into the property. It'll be a simple, it's not a full a full blown uh, site plan, because we're just gonna amend it. But I really didn't like. And it'd be easier if down the road, if you guys make some changes to that, then you'd have a better site plan to work with. I mean, does any, how does everyone feel about this? I can tell Why, you. No, I'm just, I'm curious. Why, what's the difference or why an amended versus a full? And I'm asking because I don't know. Because it's an amended. Because they've got a site plan already, and they just need to amend a site plan. Just like we right, do. Right, because they're, they're not creating a new. Right. They're adding to they're adding to the, the property, property. Right. so now they're going to the same so it's it it the same parcel. Yeah. 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 That's all. Yes. And then if they did go to condo or did sell, then it has to switch. No, I don't believe so. You know, I don't, I don't think so. No, it never has to. They could put up condos as long as they have the room for it. It could still be site plan, just like Bethel residences. We saw that as site plan, not as. But if they decide to build more than the two or whatever that they bring to site plan, they would have to go back to site plan. Let me read. Let me rephrase that. If they sold, if they if they sold those pieces, then it would fall under. Then it would be a difference. So I I I I see an amended site. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, that's why well, I brought it up. That's what I, exactly what it should well, be. Well, you have to look at the evidence that they present. They're mm -hmm. presenting that they're just building two extra structures on the mm -hmm. property. Mm -hmm. What they're going to do with in the future, who knows? We don't mm -hmm. know. And we, right. It's really not about business. Mm -hmm. It's the site, it's, it's site plan. It's just you're know, looking at modifying what they have there presently, what their future use is, who knows? Mm -hmm. Do you have town water and sewer there, or are you on private? Uh, I think we have town. We don't have town sewer. No, sure. we, we have a septic. We have a septic with the water. Um, okay. yeah. So, is there enough yeah. property there to put two additional sewer on there? Yes, septics. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's a it's it's a beautiful you know property. That's why. You know, how many like acres is it? Off the top. Yeah. Is it more than two? Yes. Yeah, isn't it 2.3 two two or yeah. something like that? It's yeah. two and change. So it's still, our protection yeah. on that, Bob, is like they're going to have to use somebody like Mainland because we're going to have to see that sewer now on the amended plan. Someone like Mainland Development or whoever they choose to yeah, use. Yeah, we don't yeah. Know. You're going to have, that will have to be on the plan. Sure. So if Why it would doesn't. have to use them? No, well, I just said Mainland. As an example. They have to use somebody. They have right. to use someone. Oh, I mean, anybody. So a license. They have to use civil anybody? engineer. Right. They need a civil engineer or license Why? to design the, to do a soils test and a septic design. Just like if you're building a house. soil oh, evaluator. That, that, that's just a, a person that comes in and evaluates yes. the soil. Right. That's all. Yeah. 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 So yeah. We yeah. see mainland doing it a lot, yeah. but there are other. Justin Barry can do it. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of other things. Yeah. What, is what is going on? I don't know. Like not me. Almost like a phone. <laughs> what is that? Is that your phone? Was that other? Uh, Shut it off. Yes. Yeah, so I don't even have my phone. Yeah. I have my wallet. She's other very other? loud. Yeah. What? what was that? Uh, I don't know. That was an alarm system, right? It stopped. Can no, I turn my phone off? Is that you buzzing, Jim? No. Well, well, that was mine. It was fire. fire. It's usually Jim. That means he has to go put out a fire. My 15 year old son is very impatient. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like, oh. Yeah. Okay. So, what all they need to do is amend their site. Uh, it is 1.5 acres. Can I make a motion to that? Uh, I make the motion. I, 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 I okay. So it is uh, 1.5. We'll need to see it in the most plan. And just yeah. make sure they would have to get a site evaluator to make sure when he does it, properly. you know, where you when you do your site plan, it's 15 just feet show the side. Have him All right. outline so where you're set. Sure. Oh, it is? Well, we'll have to come to site plan to show all the structure. Yeah, they get it. Or you're on the water, you're on the town town water. This is again where mainland development, or I'm saying mainland, wherever you use has to take all that into consideration when they do the new site plan. And the setbacks, uh, Bob is bringing up a good point, 
are, are uh, 20 feet on the sides in that, and you have 15 feet. So th that was just a, a That's commercial. Right. That's just a, 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 a insular right. sketch, so yeah, we'll, we'll amend that. Well, and and right. Courtney's yeah. going to help you get that. Yeah, yeah. when you start getting it together, right. Right. come in and see. Absolutely. So, we'll probably do yeah, Sue was just about, about to uh, make a motion. Do you have any other questions? Okay. okay. All right, Sue. So, I was just going to make a motion that we, um, there's no decisions made on determinations. Oh, yeah, I guess there is no. I don't know. With this. this I don't think there's I don't think there's hurt any to do decisions done. I make a motion that the applicant um, comes back with just an amended site plan rather than any other zoning, or not zoning, what am I trying to say? Subdivision. <laughs> Subdivision. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have Jim second to that. All in favor? Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah. So we'll see you again. Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Thank Thank you. You. Have a great evening. Take care. Thank you. Too. Thank you. They know, you know, I know they've only been here a year. But all your rules and regulations for what you're doing, just go to the town website and go into the, get everything right out of there. That book yeah. right there is on the line. So. Perfect. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay, next. Uh, would you like to, it's pretty explanatory, would you like to tell us what you're doing? So we'd like to put a shipping container in our overflow parking, which is the back side of our property, mm -hmm. um, mainly for storage. Great. We currently store our kayak computers back there. Now, um, John? Yeah, so I had a chance to go out there and met with them and we went out and looked at the site. Um, as far as the elevation, he's at the highest point of the elevation of the entire, kind of mostly the whole entire area. He's mm -hmm. on that. Um, I think it's a good idea to uh, at least be able to allow him to put some of the canoes and stuff and get them into a storage, uh, my opinion, out of sight, out of mind. I did ask if there was one thing that maybe we might want to consider is point of anchoring it just in the wild case scenario we get a hundred year flood and I'm thinking maybe we can just you know or maybe you can just as typical anchor that you would screw possibly into the ground with a cable you can run around to the bottom just so it wouldn't kind of drift off and get into the neighbor's yard if it ever happened but that would probably be the least thing we would be worried about but that's the only thing I suggested yeah my only thought on that is we do have the two other uh, small sheds back there. Yeah. I don't believe they're anchored. Yeah. Those. And I'm and I was thinking I could we could open the doors. Yeah. Let it in, let it out. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, I'd rather it flood than it float away. So yeah. I would be happy to open the doors and let the water come up in there. And it does talk about that in a little bit. It's called a hydraulic you know, or some type of opening so you can open one side. So you're going to have double doors on each side then? We were not planning on that. Okay, so you'd only be able to open one door on one side, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, the sheds probably are either, and probably the last person maybe didn't think of that, you know? Yeah. I get the two mixed up. But uh, I just, you know, I pin my opinion, he's up the highest point of elevation. Okay. It poses our well, you know, it wasn't order. too many years that that I go that, uh, that uh, Jeff parked his tractor underneath that one building there and it went over the, went over the exhaust. It went to Rutherford? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that was in the 2017, right? How many years ago was that made? Yeah. Yeah. I used to work for a yeah. company well, and so we had some tanks go yeah. missing. The water got so all over our side. Oh, yeah. the, 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 yeah. the water oh, yeah. has yeah. the water has come as high as yeah. the, the, the standing on the deck of the of the building. So, but uh, okay. I think it's, uh, in my opinion, it doesn't really you know, pose you know, a risk. We don't have a standard for that. No. I don't know if we could, we can make that recommendation, but I don't know if we can enforce it. What do you think? No. 
I mean, I, it doesn't, yeah, it's just a suggestion. A record, yeah. Yes, just a set, suggestion. It's not yeah. an enforceable, it's not enforceable. What, I'm just, yeah. worst case scenario, I mean, my thought. But no. I mean, it, it takes, All I can picture is, you know the ocean line, the, the cargo ships? <laughs> and they lose the whole front end, and the containers are floating in the usually, Atlantic. Usually, they sink yeah. fairly. And I would think maybe, <laughs> if, maybe if you wanted to put it right there next to the river, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, if you, I think if, if you fill thing. it, if you fill it with a, with a, with all the tubes blown up, it might go. <laughs> but generally, they sink fairly quickly. Yeah. yeah. So there's the, there's our condition. In winter. You have to blow your tubes up when you yeah. store them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that, and I should have mentioned earlier on again, this is a site plan amendment. Um, does, does anybody on the board here have any questions so, for the applicants? Um, I don't know if we really, we have an amendment again, so I don't think we need. Technically, they are not. Should we do standing? It's a smaller parcel. It's what? Right here. I just had a quick question. So All right. It's not a, not um, maybe we should get a motion on standing just because we have new owners here and it's a, it is a site plan. And they've gone forward and got all the information needed, so I will make that motion. Go ahead. Second. All in favor? Thanks. It's just a technicality. Um, I don't think I can. Do you want to do from the previous one? Make a motion. Do we actually have an application on this? Yes. Um, well, we got to find. You have a site plan amendment. You still have to act like it's. Like, yeah. I got to You still have to act like it's. <laughs> All right. We'll do that. Okay. So we do have a findings of fact. We can, so should we, be able to go through this fairly quickly. Do we need to make a motion? The application is complete. Should we make a motion? Oh, we I'll, I'll second. Oh, all in favor. All right, so I'm on page one of the findings of fact. Everyone okay here? Looks good. Page two. Yeah, I do have something. Yeah. Okay, number eight. This thing we have gone over and over again, earth tone. Mm. Oh my God. So they, I reached out about the color because I know color has been a big issue lately. Um, and they can't get a definite answer on what color it will be. So they can guarantee it's not going to be hot pink, bright orange. You know, we need to identify what That's earth tone means yeah. because we yeah. don't what, have. Uh, there's a what, what, what do we care way? what color it is? Because yeah. when you buy those, those come in different colors. Yeah. Yeah. You don't regulate the ones that, if you want to put one on your property, the planning board has no say. They, they can, and they, I don't see why we have a say about it. Just because it's a commercial, they it's can, something that they're buying that they're going to sit on. It's just a standard. That's, that they can ask, they the can ask for a color, but a color isn't always available. It depends on what's in right. there. Yeah. Regardless of what color yeah. we get, we're planning on painting it green or tan. Oh, I'm just saying uh, for us. Uh, something not, along those lines. Not for the applicant. Maybe brown. Yeah. Right. In, the, in the future. I think we need to identify. So they're this actually. Um, beat us to death. Give our interim town manager a couple of days. But there is a four. <laughs> well, uh, to get like, yeah, just to get like acclimated um, and then come in because I believe there's a four now that if you have a suggested change or any resident to the ordinances. You can fill out that form and an ordinance review. It's already, review. It's already in, in. So maybe Jim actually has them too. Times. I just know Natalie had them, so I don't know. If, I'm guessing Sharon will have them. Maybe I have them. them. So, so we have them now. So yes, you guys can put in a suggestion. So we have a form that it gets filled out. To maybe define the tones. Um, and then we submit it. That comes to us. Gets submitted to. Uh, Jessica, mm -hmm. so that it can get put on the docket, okay, and then great. the select board approves looking into it, then it goes through mm -hmm. the regular process. So where All it is is creating a paper. Where is so this form? Um, there's some in Jessica's office. Oh, okay. Um, I thought there's there's a, herself. So we'll give it to a, Sue. There's a, there's a folder <laughs> on, on there. I'll, I'll grab you some. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's per sorry. This is sort of this is us, not you. <laughs> so on that, but. on that, are you done on that? There should yeah. be another one. Did you no, 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 no. So, it says so that it's not visible. Or am I supposed to move it? What's that? Um, will not be, am I supposed to leave the earth totally? Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It was just something for future for all okay. of us. Yes. So you can actually see that from the road. Yeah, but so what? You can see well, some that, of that other I, I know. And it just says in here that it's not visible from the road. I'm just it says not visible in the summer. From the summer. In the fall, you're going to see it. I don't really care, yeah. <laughs> but you are going to see it. You can see it in the summer, too. I'm just saying for our language. <clears throat> okay. Well, what, what number was that? Eight. You cleared what you're throat like you wanted to in say. In an something. ideal. <laughs> oh, you think what's so it's, it's not the end of the so world. So should I remove it or keep it? Leave it the way it is, I think. Yeah, heading north, you probably right. can't see it. Heading south, you can't. I would have never known there was all those kayaks back there and telling me to go be back there. Just to be honest. I well, and never most them. people are looking this way. Well, it's not and nobody's doing pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> I would have never seen it. So. Yeah. It's good to And nobody's using engine brakes yeah. out there. Okay, anything else on page two? Or brakes, period. No. Yeah, good job at figuring out the uh, high flood mark. I don't know who did that, but who are you pointing at? Both of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was good. No. That made it oh, really clean. Yeah, 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 oh, cool. Okay, page three. Oh, okay, great. Where they did all Courtney gave us all the things we needed. <laughs> yes, it is a high flood market. It was 648, so it would have to be above 649, is what the code I've seen water up the railroad tracks, so. Well, yeah, I know, but it does the federal it. government makes those on me. Yeah. Okay, page four. 13 is the only place we go on. She looked at blank, oh, but so you okay, always yeah. leave that blank, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 13. Yeah. I don't think we need anything unless that's where we wanted. If we wanted to ask them <laughs> to anchor it, that's where it would be. But I don't think that would be no a couple of them. Yeah. I don't think that's. What's everyone's pleasure on 13? No applicable? Yeah. Page 5. I have a question. No. 14. Potential archaeological site. That's kind of cool. I <laughs> what what it is, is though. So. <laughs> it's the end of Could you, could you want me to answer that? Um, our GIS online has um, pretty much the whole entire riverbank of the Andrews Coggin. That's right. Is a potential archaeological right. site. Um, people aren't digging. It's never really an issue. Where this is, it's further enough back. So. Part of their, because technically this is two lots anyway, their lot on the river is in that site, but this is it in any way? So I don't even think you're doing. I, I feel like it should be marked anyway. that yeah, if somebody just in right there. years looks, <laughs> so, yes, the it's lot much is much ground in ground archaeological ground. sites. They're not digging in its. Right. So the box is not going or the container is not going. So and technically, if somebody really wanted to push the issue, because you're still doing the, the dig, bring in the Files buried underneath the pavilion. That actually, that section isn't on the lot that's on the river. Because that's over. That's there no, there's no digging there. And from no, like the, the, the loads get brought in. Oh, and yeah. People dig through it. So yeah. somebody down, somebody could sit there and say, "Well, that's archaeology." <laughs> I think that's. I think that's it's not. But we promise not to piss anybody off. <laughs> it's not. It's not. But somebody. <laughs> that actually might be on the other lot. Also, from my too. understanding. The, all that pond, uh, that is what that platform is now. Yeah. So yeah. all the tailings. So it's all the tailings. So you know, a, a, good portion, down, like a good portion of it is. So you can get to archaeology. Right. Yeah. yeah. You probably brought some in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's, That's right. What? I forgot about the Androscoggin thing. Yeah, so pretty I'm much. If curious. you ever look at our maps, yeah. I think all of that hole along the Androscoggin is the yeah. actual archaeological site. Hmm. Yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, page seven. 
trash and dig it up. Mm -hmm. And we have a letter from Mike. Yeah, yeah. Mike reviewed it. He's kind of that. Do you need a motion to approve the finding of the fact? So we'll move. Second. All in favor? I'll make sure right to pass. Jimmy, second. Yep. So we need a motion for the project itself. A motion to approve the project is written. Second. All in favor? Wonderful. Okay, great. You're good to go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to see you. you. Keep yourself from floating away. Huh? Yeah. That's right. I always wondered when they caught that water went through there, what happened to all those kayaks? I was waiting, ready to go to Rumford and see mm -hmm. them. Thankfully, we moved actually, them all to where this area is. Exactly. It's high enough. Yeah. So the other thing you really need to pay attention to is if they start letting the water out. Yep. Yeah. That, that and Rumford, yeah. if they stop yep. letting it down there too, then it's back. Uh, from Shelburne down, you typically have six hours. Yeah. And yeah. we yeah. had um, multiple occasions that the campers have gone fully underwater. And it was a couple times we had to take the town bucket loader in, pull campers and pull people out. Or uh, the, the mobile home park. Don't scare them. No. <laughs> <laughs> we evacuated the campground once this year yeah. from yep. our, all of our campers, and we had them on standby another time. It's a yep. It was a crazy summer. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm like at 3 a.m., knock on the door, get yeah. ready. Yeah. It, 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 I'm it sorry your first, first year was this. Yeah. 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 We learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so next we year. We were more prepared. School yeah. Very right educational. Nice. <laughs> yes. Thank okay. You. Sorry. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, we don't get a sign. Do we have to sign anything? Um, I can thank you so much. Yeah, see, when, when Bucky put that building down there, uh, where the Chinese mm -hmm. restaurant is, and the hammer is like a lot of contracts. They just have to sign you know, something to put in my office and your folder. Okay. Um, but you guys are all set up to go over I'm just going to find out. I think we've got another meeting. Bye, guys. Thank you very much. Can you guys sign your letter to showing Sharon that we're going to go over Yeah. That's good. It's low. So we've had twice the water has been to, to the top of the school bus windows, and the building is fully under. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. My the bus off. garage. Yep. That's depressing. Yeah. So and what water, are we doing water with Water lapped at the. Anything? Um, um, you guys were just supposed to review it and see if the changes that were okay. suggested were made. I didn't know if we were going through one by one. No, but if there's anything that you want yes. that was fine. Under ex parte um, D, it says, I think what Where are you we, at? What page? Um, third page. We have ex parte, yeah. It's just at the bottom, board members conducting discussions about board business or having discussions. I think it was, I think we originally said by telephone, electronically, or in person, didn't we? Because if not, I'm going to call everybody and talk about it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want me to add electronically, but, telephone? Yeah, or just well, telephone well, in there somewhere. Wouldn't telephone be electronic? Yes. Yeah. Is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, electronic. Yes. I don't have a house phone. Like a cellular. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Electronically covers, I think covers. So don't add it or add it? Don't add it then. Okay. Sounds like I'm the only one. <laughs> and it really doesn't matter. I think we get the gist. <coughs> so when you send this to them, yeah. blow it up. They like boom? No, take the whole page. <laughs> yes, I will. Take the whole page. They kick things back to me because they didn't bother like to print them <laughs> properly. Yes, they were. Well, they I'll have a question on the uh, beginning down here, uh, conducting a meeting, section four, which is the fourth page in. Yep. Article <coughs> section four down at the bottom. Yep. Ex parte? No. 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 Oh, our, uh, the, the, the determination of quorum of any uh, application shall be included, uh, shall not include uh, any member 
who cannot uh, participate. So how do you figure that out? Um, you, you figure out your Well, quorum. if you declare a quorum you and then you declare a quorum before you go into your meeting. Right. And then if you have a person that has a problem and they step down. Then you'll have to wait for the next meeting. They have a problem. Yeah. Well, yeah, you have a problem. So the... I don't see any language in there on that anywhere. I don't think there is. Yeah. I think it's one of those things that you just kind of hope doesn't happen. I, I'm guessing the lawyer put it in there years ago because they want to make it clear that a quorum doesn't exist. If you have four, if you had four members here and you had a conflict of interest and you have three, they just want to clarify that. Yes, but you've already declared a quorum and started your meeting. I guess you have to right. declare so, a quorum. I don't, um, I don't know. Now that a person has to step down, do you lose your quorum and the meeting is closed? Well, no, just that second. Just that the just application would have to wait. Yeah. But it, it, this is even very rare that we only have five of us. That's why we have a seven-member board. I understand that, but it could happen. So. It could. I'll ask, but I'm sure they're going to say When, we, when we're part. aware of a recusal, we tend to worry about that mm. and look carefully at who might not be coming. That was just the thought I had when I, when yeah. I was yeah. looking at that. Well, and typically, you guys get an agenda the week before, so I'm aware if one or two of you have, like when Lori had to recuse, I knew ahead of time that Lori was going to recuse. I think most of us tell you when we see something on the agenda yeah, that you're gonna have to recuse. Yeah. I'm going to have to offer up to recuse. Yeah. yeah. I think we would have time to tell that applicant, oh, I'm sorry we can't see you. We're going to have to wait because we're not going to have a quorum. Yeah. But I've never, I don't know how long I've been on the board now, 10 or 12 years or something. And I've never seen that happen. Mm -hmm. um, but I know that we always worry about it when we know someone's going to recuse. Well, this board's big enough, but like the board of assessors or even my appeals board are five-member boards. Yeah. You know, we had a vacancy with Fran passing away. So, I mean, that left me with four members, which, I mean, is kind of closer. Even on the assessors, we have a member who leaves for the winter. That leaves us with four. I mean, thank goodness. Typically, they're all healthy. I mean, yeah. Lucky. No, that's the I mean, that would be three. three. Yes, but if for some reason a couple of people have to be sick. It, right, that's, that's this board I don't worry about as much as the other team. That's why you have, if you're in a city situation, you have you have all of it. Yeah. I mean, it's really simple. If we don't have it, that applicant has to move. Right. It's yeah. just a fact of life. When I first got on the board, there was it was a five member board, yeah, two, and yeah. we added two more members to give us that flexibility, and. Uh, I've never, even before that, I never saw it happen. Yeah, well, I think seven members of this board should mean a lot more yeah. than appeals or assessors. All right, right. moving right so, along. Okay. On section six, the next page, mm -hmm. it says here that the person that steps down has the right to participate mm -hmm. as a member of the public. Yep. I came from MMA. I was going to say, couldn't they, um, couldn't they put undue influence? On the board? No, we went. So that was that whole bit when Thanks. Natalie said that I had to, I couldn't say anything when I was sitting in the audience. But and then they, because you recuse, not abstain. If you abstain, no, you can still participate. Yeah, because I can remember when um, Lori. So you did the same Julie. thing with that. What's her name? Um, Lori. 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 On the Wilson Thrips thing down there. She got down. I can't remember if she stepped down or recused. She recused. Because she did speak. So technically she should have abstained. That we know now. We didn't know. Yeah, we didn't okay. know that then. Yeah. 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 Now, that was just the noise thing? No. I no, was this was for her subdivision. Oh. Yeah. If a board member is going to stay, she has a right to abstain. That's the exact wording that MMA uses. I didn't okay. change it at all. Does, is there anything in here about recusing? No, because that wasn't. We're not using the word recuse anymore? I don't know. It just wasn't um, suggested as a change when you guys got along. It, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have a difference or definition between recusing <coughs> and abstaining. 
So will you remember that in the future? Because I get them confused. Yeah, I do too. <clears throat> but what would make you recuse and not abstain? Monetary monetary interest. Yeah. So should we have like if a board member has monetary interests, um, they will be asked to recuse, not abstain. No matter what you do, you still have interest, whether it's money or, uh, or yeah. if it's because you don't want something or, or you do want something to happen, you still have an interest in it. It's just a different form of interest. So I agree. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically the word recused has been used, but I think we should have just been using abstain all along, honestly. Reading it back. Um, I don't really care. This is all about consistent. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to remember that. I've got a couple of questions on the next day, though. I'm staying up. Maybe I'm well, going to do, do, do we want to put something in there that just so that there's at least a definition of, or the difference between staying and the Is there any, uh, anything in here for <coughs> that type of entry? We've been using recuse, which we should have been saying abstain, but this is the way we've done it forever, and I think it's I think it's just more complicated if you have them both in here. I would say we just go with abstain. Just as long as we're consistent. I don't yeah. Care. We, yeah. Yeah. Is everyone and okay we do with it, that? We do it the same way each time. Yeah. Right. And if you abstain, I get these mixed up. You can talk or you can't talk. Yes, you can. You can talk. Yeah. Okay. So so there's one thing we've got in there, that, and maybe it's even putting in, I don't know, in parentheses, it's, abstain means you can talk. Or well, it's, it, it's just, right there. Yeah. yeah. It's right It's right in there. They spelled yeah. it out. Okay. It's just, I agree. As long as uh -huh. we're consistent and we're not, you if know, a board the member is are we supposed to be doing this or are we supposed to be doing that? No, it says, if a board member is required to abstain, he, she has the right to participate as a member of the public and shall leave the board table and sit in the audience. Yeah. Section 6. Just added I wouldn't say request. I would just say the board has the right to table an application upon majority vote. Because yeah, you know, which way you at? Um, C right here under nine. Yeah, nine. Section. Nine. The board has the right to request to table an application the right to upon majority vote. Request. Just take out request two. The board has the right to table an application upon majority vote. Well, that's what it said. No, it says we have the right to request to table. We're not requesting. If we make, you know, we're either... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Are they talking about the board or are they talking about the applicant in this particular aspect? Well, the applicants in B, they talk about the applicant, but it's the, it's listed above. The board, and it says the board, so it's the board has the right to table, yeah. Because no, who would they request that no. to, to, no. Them, right. to yeah. themselves? No. <laughs> exactly. What was your stuff for the next page? Hmm? What was your stuff for the next page? No, it's down at the bottom. It's, set, it's down at uh, section two where it says uh, no new business on the agenda may be brought up for discussion after 8 p.m. Now, what are you talking about? You're talking about. No uh, new agenda items can no come new up. No agenda items. So if you. Were, and it doesn't say that, right? No. No new business on the on the agenda. On the agenda, maybe. Okay. So if we're in discussion about something, you don't have to and, vote. And it goes past eight o'clock, and we still have one other item on the agenda. That item is automatically scheduled for the next meeting. Unless there's a majority vote saying you guys are going to go past eight o'clock. Right. Yeah. Well, you'll never get my vote. <laughs> <laughs> and we know. <laughs> We already knew that, so okay. it's. Uh, I, just, I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, <laughs> again, it's one of those things that we have never, we've no. never had to use. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if you get a big application, you get a lot of people here, it can happen. Yeah. 
The only other thing I had, I had a note written um, about seven uh, above that that says action uh, on applications, and, it, and it's talking about uh, the uh, uh, applicant whose time limit has expired shall be removed from the agenda by formal action. I just put down what is formal action? It must be by a vote of the board. A vote? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. The board will continue to view the applications table for pr at prior meetings. This is time limit has expired. What does that mean, time limit? I have no idea. I didn't put time limit. Do you think that means the time limit of two years, you know? That's, or the 90 days? Yeah, it, that, that's ambiguous too. I don't know. I take it as meeting, you know how we, the clock starts to tick at the first meeting, right? And they have not, we have 90 days, I think, to get through the I whole application. So now if we're past the 90 days, days, I think we have 90 days. Yeah, it's, but I don't know where that's written. I don't think I've ever seen it in my life. It's, it is. It's, 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 it would be in this, and it's not in this. No, it, I, there is a, it's there is a state in there on oh, time limits. It's for on, subdivisions, I think. Yeah, because you've got you've got to start it within a certain period of time, and you've got five years to complete it. But I, I think no, what this, this refers to, I know, but uh, I guess in subdivision, okay, is just the application. I think once this meeting starts the clock. And we can't drag it out for I, more than 90 I, I days. I haven't read anything about that. We don't even know what. It's, it's someplace Where I've is seen that? it. I think it's, I almost want to say it's a state statute or state yeah. code because it's, well, we I remember that, that there's saying. some, it, uh -huh. you can't sit there and drag something right. out and keep. An approved, revised, or amended plan. No, shall be recorded at the registry of deeds within 90 days. Absolutely. Within 10 days of such registration, the applicant shall provide the planning board. I don't know where That's this is. It. Yeah. That's no, not I it. just saw 90 days. I thought mm. it was not. It's. Mm. Where the hell did you find that? Was it MMA? I feel like I've always known it, but I've never yeah. seen it. And it could be one of those things that I, you think I, you know I, and you I, don't. I, no, I've, I've seen it. It's been discussed. We might want to incorporate it in our procedures or not. figure out what this even means. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that may be something that we add on for next year's review because this is supposed to be, this is just the review of the changes you guys already suggested. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> Where's that form? <laughs> well, no, because so that would be for an ordinance that's not for rules. Right, right. We need, we do need clarification on stuff, though. I think, you know, like this, it's just, mm -hmm. the whole bump contradicts itself. Just be careful. Yeah. 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 Is, is that project right still don't, happening? Don't even get into that right now. Okay. Let's continue with this because I still right. have one more thing I can do. Is that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> section three. Oh, I don't think I just want to pull copies. I could tell. You can tell it's gray and the rest is yeah, gray. Yeah, okay. No worries. Well, I just looked over and I'm like, oh, she doesn't have paper. You should do this on double sided, that would save half the paper. Um, you can get digital copies if you'd like. It's computers are in the works. I would save paper, but no, I need a paper one sided. I think that was the last change, is the butter notice for the oh God, I hate that word. <laughs> a butter? A butter? Yes. Every time we talk about a butter, it just becomes more real. I think we need a term, a section on terms. Definitions. We do. We have definitions, just a butter isn't in there, so we would go by like. So, do we need a motion on this? So what are we going to do with it? We're going to present it to the selectmen? <coughs> yes. For so that review? Is that what we're what yeah, going to get tonight? Yeah, that's just the changes that you guys made in August. Those are the changes that I put down, and I just wanted you guys to review it, vote to send it to the selectmen. 
Does it get reviewed by the lawyer after that, or does it not have to no, be reviewed? No, actually it doesn't get reviewed by the lawyer. Okay, so it would be a motion to send it to the Civic Board for review. Where are the terms in here? Um, at the beginning of each section, or at the end of each section. section. I can, uh, there's a yeah, you are in your voice. Yeah. Well, if we need a motion to send it, are we comfortable with it the way it is? Yes, we're supposed to review this annually. I know, but are we comfortable with this? I'm comfortable with it. All right, I make a motion that we submit this to the selectmen for their review. Hold on a second. So you know what I figured out I was doing wrong all this time? See what it stands for. You know what I'm asking you. for comment after you have a second. Right. Uh -huh. I never have. Yeah, yeah, I just learned this during this that, process. Yeah. You're yeah. supposed to make the motion really before you even Talk. discuss. You're supposed to have a motion, a second, and then a discussion. Then a discussion, yes. yeah. 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 And we've, I've never done it, so I'm doing it now. <laughs> Do you want to discuss this? No, we need a second. Oh. Any discussion? <laughs> We're kind of a little disorganized tonight. I know, it feels <laughs> really discombobulated all of us. tonight. <laughs> yeah, all in favor. Well, maybe not Jody. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so technically, I guess this could have been under communications, but um, inland woods and trails yeah. um, are doing more bike paths. Technically, they don't come to us. They're a recreational path. They've never come to us. As a courtesy, they provided maps on what they're doing. Um, so this is the Telstar Trails. That's Route 26. Here's the trails. I'll pass that around. And then they now own both sides of Reservoir Road or Daisy Bryant Road off the North Road. Is everybody yeah. familiar where that is? Mm -hmm. How far up? Up off that road, mm. I don't know. Mm. Um, but these are their in these will now be their bike path trails out there. Mm -hmm. So they just wanted to um, provide maps if you guys want to look at them. I we at any time we can change our uh, minds about trails. Well, no, I think the town meeting we have it was in the ordinance that you don't work at the It's in that, I believe. Oh, they had to be excav excavation. Yeah. Because that was the big area that we had to make a determination on. So the, this is interesting because the Telstar ones, those trails have been there for eons. Yeah. Well, I think I Inland Woods, those. though, is actually adopting them now and probably going to put they, maps out there and let people know. They're school trails. Well, apparently the school's letting them market them. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. It's interesting. I, That's the Cross Country Trail, answer, right? Yes, I'm beginning to not trust them. Personally, I didn't say that. Mm. <laughs> nothing. So this it goes from. So and I, I this just is, this has always been there. This has always been there. That's been there because okay. I used to hunt this hard. I used to hunt this. Uh -huh. um, and you could walk down. You could access it from here. I know that there was. Quite, and Kirk worked on this for a long time. I don't know if it still is. Trying Kirk, to connect. We are in Woods and Trails. What? We're not in the Woods. I know, but he was working on trying to connect these trails to the land trust trails. Oh yeah, that a was long a time ago. A long time ago, they wanted to also the trail over by your house to come up to the high school so kids could walk like up the that Bailey road. Up to yeah, that's what, that's what it was. That's what it was. So the kids could walk up to the high school. But I mean, what determination we do not. Sea trails, but we, if they are excavating, they're yes. going in there. You know, let's say, are they they're, they're, they're not, no. So, this not. map does not show the them ability. owning anything on the other side of Daisy Bryant. Well, that's fine. I mean, I, I don't well, know. Tom, you gonna sign I mean, this? That's, I know so people that problem? own it. Well, I'm not quite sure what this is. This is the regular map. So maybe he just gave that to me, I don't know. I have an email if you would like to stop in my office. This whole piece, this whole 100 acres, my brother will own that. So I just, I, and I know this whole side is owned by, um, what's his name? Painter. Vernon. Vernon. Vernon owns everything on this side here, the upper hand. 
Um, they just bought Stag Properties land. That's Davis. over here. I don't know who Stag Property is. Stag Property is the piece that's over I don't, I don't, uh, on this yeah. side yeah. over here. Stag <coughs> used to own the whole piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's the color coding for? You got purple, yellow, and red. Um, with no legend. <laughs> yeah. That's, I don't know. Who knows? Um, it may be up towards the top. Oh. Maybe that they own um, on both sides of the road. Because I thought Telstar just bought some acreage up on top of that. Actually, there is a thing in there is a thing in the code yeah. on trails. I thought Chet is, I, I thought Telstra just spent. Yeah, I don't know how much money to mine. I did. Sure. They, they bought all the back stuff. Yeah, so Maybe how far, they're how far letting, up does that go? And they, are these trails on Telstra? Well, those I, trails I think are now on. John, oh. They are on some other people's trail uh, land, and they've been given permission or deeded oh. an easement. Either right away that away end of it because it's not really. Because Telstar, that cross country yeah. course is up in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everything on that yellow is is the cross country loop. In the woods and trails does a lot of trail maintenance, and maybe they've worked out something mm -hmm. where it is Telstar's um, land, yeah. and they're going to help them maintain it. I so mean, if they're going on somebody else's land without permission, that's that's not my purview job. Mm -hmm. no, that's not, not us. Not <laughs> that's the police. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's that? That was that was all I had. Um, Bob. Besides that, we will not. I know Bob wasn't here. No, hold on. We do not have a meeting October 11th. Okay. So uh, the select board is going to be using our evening. Um, the interim town manager had previous commitments before accepting um, on their normal night, so they're going to steal our night on that 11th. Um, and we also don't have any new applications for them. Um, so our next meeting will be October 25th, and then we will have one November 8th. Um, and can the board, since everybody's here, just agree? I put canceled on the one the night before Thanksgiving. Is everybody in agreement with that? Oh, yes. Perfect. Okay, now, Bob, you can do your. I oh, make a motion. We can I need a vote. Oh. Like which part? On the jury? No, I don't yeah. want to jury. I need a second. <laughs> I, I had it. Jim second. Oh, oh, oh I mean, Jim all in favor. Yeah. Okay. Was this like the weirdest meeting we've ever uh, had? My paper cord didn't record, so I have this. Thankfully, you should have never let me do that gap. Yeah. That was.